Round and around she goes. How long the chain has to be, nobody knows. Hey, this is John. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. And today, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I've been waiting forever to do this. We're gonna build up this Competition GS. Now, if you haven't seen my last uh, couple videos, I sent this out to Jeffrey Bach in Ames, Iowa. He has been building frames since 1975, and I guess he's got three to 400 in it, uh, under his credit. And um, he also does a lot of painting. And this one's sharp, and you're gonna see a close-up of that. Man, what a difference. Now, what is a Competition GS? It's actually, I think, third in their line lineup in, uh, in uh, 1980. Um, however, it still has a full Reynolds uh, tubing frame. It's uh, still double butted in the main tubes. And uh, let's see, fork blades, stays, butted frame tubes. What does that mean, guys? All of them are butted? I don't know. But, you know, with the, with the uh, gold pinstriping, the new decals, perfectly done. Uh, I can't wait to build it up. The chrome is original. Now, the, it's about 8 out of 10 condition. It's actually not in bad shape. Um, so we didn't do anything with that. So we're going to install the headset, bottom rack, and just build this baby up. Now, it's not going to be a hard build because this thing was once built before. So I'm not going to be rewrapping bars and things because this bike's already been built. So I'm just going to be putting this thing back together. But come along with me. Come along for the ride. We'll tell some stories and have a little bit of fun. Check out this fork. It looks gorgeous. The paint looks wonderful. The new decal looks pretty cool. I don't know what it is about a Reynolds decal on a fork. I always thought it looked kind of cool. Check out that beautiful pin striping. Those decals are impeccable. Uh, Jeffrey's source for those uh, decals uh, are just amazing. He really has the right guy. Uh, check out that clear coat, nice and shiny. And I know the original bike didn't look this good. I'm somewhat of a purist, but you know what? I'm sorry guys, this thing is awesome. And I uh, can't wait to get her built. Now, if you haven't seen a video in a while, things have changed a little bit. Uh, we got a new rack here. I actually built this quite a while ago. And fit an extra, an extra six bikes. And uh, of course, lean up my daily. And uh, it's pretty cool. Built it for the, my last bike garage or basement in my old house. And of course, we relined up all the bikes. And we have a guest automobile that belongs to my sister-in-law. That is a 1967 Beetle convertible great shape beautiful car drives wonderfully but let's get started on this thing this stuff has been bagged up for a greater part of the year and it's pretty much stock but we're going to have a few surprises on it just can't wait to get this stuff together all right let's start with the bottom cup i put a little bit of oil on the cup itself so it slides in a little easier Looks good. Do it again on the top. I got a little bit of oil on the cup. Not the cup, but you know what I mean, the top race. We got some loose balls in this thing. Read into that what you will. But because of that, I'm gonna use a little thicker grease. Gotta be so careful not to hit the bearings so they don't fall out. Success. Let's raise this puppy up. It's bottom bracket time. Let's lube up these uh, threads here 
and just wipe them out. And he he protected them when he painted it, but I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe. Yeah, they look good. All right, so as usual, we're using a Campagnolo bottom bracket because it came with one. It is called the Competition GS, and it came with Grand Sport components. Is that why they call this the GS? Let me know in the comments section below. Shops I worked at never carried Raleigh back in the day, so you could let me know. And for those that are paying attention, look, the bearing's in right. Everyone says I put the bearings in wrong. Not everyone, but people are not paying attention. So the bearings are right. I think one of the most unique things about this bike is the crank set. The Campagnolo Grand Sport uh, crank set with the three arms. I always thought it, thought it looked iconic. It's really cool. It's uh, actually slightly lighter than the upper end models, but the polish is not as good. Uh, we also have some Campagnolo Grand Sport pedals. Pretty cool. And also, what do we have here? Christoph uh, toe clips and straps. You know, in my pile of parts, I don't have a rear derailleur. I know I had a Nova record in there. It came with a Grand Sport, and I think I used it for another project. We have to get another derailleur. Hmm. What do we do? Let's see what we got in here. You know what? Here is a Grand Sport. I'm not fond of this trailer, but you know what? It came stock. Let's put it on. Now this bike did originally come with a Grand Sport rear derailleur, but I upgraded it to a Nova Record earlier. Uh, don't hate on me for that. I know it's not stock. But you know, I actually don't mind putting on upgrades on bikes that other people would have made even back in its day. So that being said, it is what it is. But you know what? I think I'll stick with the Grand Sport because I think. It's not bad to have what's stock on this thing. Let's do it. Isn't that crazy? 13 millimeter wrench to put on a rear derailleur. <laughs> so the wheel set, guys, uh, we're putting on here is stock. Uh, it had a Grand Sport hub, Campanola Grand Sport. I over overhauled those already. We got uh, Weinman concave rims that came in stock. I did release these with some deep DT straight gauge spokes. Uh, they're pretty much uh, bulletproof at this point and some uh, really crappy tires. They're actually not bad. Uh, if you haven't had the uh, Panerasia Pacellas, they're okay. They're not great, but at one time, that's what I could find in the skin wall, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna put on some uh, other tires uh, when we get a chance. And the free wheel is not stock. This is actually a little smaller than it came with stock. It's also uh, got the gold, I wanna say plating, but it's a pro comp freewheel and new old stock. Looks gorgeous. That's that little bling I've been talking about. Gotta do it. You know, I'm kind of noticing while I'm putting up the, setting up these shots, is that the background's a little busy. Is it too busy back here to see what's going on? Do you really care? If you do, it's all right. Let me know in the comments section below. But uh, yeah, here we go. Let's see how blingy this looks. Oh, pretty, pretty. Why do I care if it's pretty? I know you guys keep hearing me say, this is pretty, this is cool looking. Why do I care so much? Well, you know what? If I didn't care about that or just keep riding my plastic bike every day. Uh, but no, that's what makes these things so great is they're, they're ornate um, and, I, and I like that. They're pieces of art. I got the wrong uh, end here on the skewer. Right skewer, wrong end. Now I gotta find one of those.
So the brakes we have on here are the typical Wyman 605 calipers. They're nothing fancy. And the brake levers actually are using a GPM or GPM, whatever you want to call it, because I don't have the original ones. But um, yeah, they're pretty nice. I think I polished them a few years back. I'm just going to give them a little touch up here, bring back some of the bling. Yeah, this stuff does wonders, doesn't it? This is the Mother's Chrome Polish. And just give it a little touch up here. Nice. What's the point of having that shiny new frame if I got dull, dull boring brakes? Now for something completely different. That's a Ferrari F40. I think that's a 458 or 488 Pista. Or is that Special? I don't know my Ferraris. Nuts, huh? It's another day here at the shop. It's beautiful. 75 degrees in November. Go figure. Kind of cool. And it's time to get back to work on this beast. There's not a lot left to do. Uh, we have to string it up, put in the cable guides, and so. And here we are. Here are some junk food left over from Halloween. But yeah, I'm going to give these a little shine. This baby goes on. Now, you know what? I, it's showing a little patina, which is fine. I'm just going to give it a little polish. Uh, we're going to put on a new old stock gold chain. It's a set of sport. Uh, you know what? I really wish I had some foresight because I was selling these wholesale when I worked for GT Bicycles for $7.49. I understand if I had a new one in a box, they go for about 75 to 100. But it's going to look awesome on this bike. It's going to be gorgeous. So why does that matter? I don't know, but it does. So before we get this thing together, I think I'm going to polish up these cable guides and put those on. Front cable should be no no brainer. Chain freewheel or chain, I should say, no problem. Should work out fine. I already had this build, so it's already cut the line. Have any of you guys ever shopped for these Campagnolo cable guides? It's nuts. I remember them being wholesaled, I think somewhere in the $5 range back in when I was in the shop. Wholesale, well. Now, a new pair is like, I don't know, 30 bucks? Yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Looks good. Let's hook up that front brake. Front derailleur time, let's give that a little bit of a polish. That's kind of dull. Tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. Am I being too uh, weird about having this thing be shiny? Oh, here we go. Oh, that brings out a whole other. Pretty. Sharp. What's interesting, guys, is I put the front derailleur on. You could tell it's fresh paint. You can. I mean, it's a beautiful paint job. It's not overly thick. You can tell that around the lugs. But at the same time, you can almost feel it when you're putting the front derailleur on that the paint is new. Time to put on the guide for the uh, derailleurs, cable guide. And there's nothing to tell me where this thing should go. But I do know you want the wires to run pretty close to the frame. And when this wire comes from here to the front derailleur, from here up, you don't want that 
wire to scrape the frame. This one has a little limiter there, a little knob. What do you call that thing? It's not a knob. What is that? The little st stopper thingamajigger. Time for some chain action. Bumps that up. Around and around she goes. How long the chain has to be, nobody knows. Hmm. That looks about that looks about right. You know with the 24 tooth back here, I think you get away with a little bit shorter chain. That should be easy to thread. Now keep in mind, this has already been built and adjusted before, so maybe a couple touch-up adjustments here. I'm going to do this rather loosely until I get the, the rear derailleur done. You know, I thought about leaving this off camera, but when I turn the pedals, it almost seems like the bottom bracket's too tight. It feels stiff. And you know what? I think it's a new old stock chain. I think it's a little gummy. I'm gonna throw some lubricant on that and see what happens. <laughs> Night and day. Okay, guys, show of hands. Put it in the comment section. How many of you guys were yelling at me saying, it's the pulleys, you idiot, causing the drag? Actually, you would be half right. There's a chain, and then I pulled the pulleys off, and sure enough, there's some drag in the pulley. So I'm going to clean them up and put them back on. Oh, yeah. Even easier. Much better. It was the pulleys and the chain. I think it was mostly the chain though. You know, that's interesting. That's the first time ever I put a new old stock chain on and I felt the resistance and drag from, uh, I guess it's just like a, uh, maybe the oil coagulated or it got gummy and it loosened right up once I put the lubricant on it. I also got a Blackburn cage to put on this puppy. Thanks so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. We've got a couple new videos coming up. One's going to highlight my uh, Schwinn collection. The other one's going to highlight my Italian bicycle collection. I also have a, a video on a, um, a new build from Jeffrey Bach that he did. He brought to the Philadelphia Bike Show. 
And uh, I'm gonna put that together as best I can. I don't have a ton of footage. But yeah, check that one out as well. Leave in the comments section below what kind of things you'd like to see in this channel. Myself, what I like to do is share what I have with you because that's what makes it fun. If not, it'd just be some old dude in the garage looking at bikes. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next video.